There tends to be a lot of confusion when it comes to this subject, and that is whether we should be using double quoted strings or single quoted strings in Python. And we don't really have an answer for that. And let me just go ahead and pull up what the official PEP documentation says. And here it says regarding string quotes that in Python, single quoted strings and double quoted strings are the exact same thing. This PEP does not make a recommendation for this. Pick a rule and stick with it. When a string contains single or double quote characters, however, use the other one to avoid backslashes in the string because it improves readability. For triple quoted strings, always use double quoted characters to be consistent with doc string convention in PEP257. So just to explain this a bit, I went ahead and created two examples. Here I used double quotes so that I can go ahead and include the single quotes without having to escape the characters. Because of course, if I wanted to use double quotes in here, I would have to escape each one of them to actually make it work. And right there, you actually wouldn't get an error. And this would lead to a really big debugging problem because right now we created two different strings. And I mean, we can add a comma right here to make it a little bit more readable. But right now what we did by adding these two quotation marks inside is create two separate strings, which is not what we want. We wanted these two quotation marks to be inside. And to actually make this work, we would have to escape both of them and then enter whatever text we want inside. So of course, make sure you use single quotes if you're going to use a lot of double quotes in the string. And that's essentially all that Pip is saying. We don't want to have a lot of backslashes because it just convolutes our code a lot. And the only time Pep actually takes a position on this is when you're creating a doc string. And to create a doc string, of course, you need a function or a class. We'll just say that func. And here you would create your doc string usually. So triple quotes, and then you can say this is a doc string. And it would not be happy if you did this with single quotes. So of course you can go ahead and retry this and create triple quotes and we can say this is a doc string again. But this time we will get a pep warning first because we don't have a new line and second because we've decided to use the single quotes for this triple quoted string. And once we convert it, the program will be happy. So this is the only time that it actually takes a stand and says, you better use double quotes or else we're not going to be happy. But otherwise, try to stay consistent. Try to follow whatever the company's convention is that you are working at because what makes code readable to other coders is consistency. So it doesn't really matter what you pick. As long as you keep it consistent, we can all learn it and we can all build from it.